it's Miss Maya from the Green Free Library here to share another story time with you. Hey, it's National Library Week. How about that? <laughs> I hope you'll come into the library and see us. I want to welcome everyone who's watching and sing hi to our friends, new and old. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. The more we get together, together, together. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Hi to Anna and Peter, Andrew and Kate, Stanley and Henry and Lydia and Parker and Ava and Veda and Ella and Charlie and Robbie and Ella and Carolyn and Kinsley, Aliana and Killian and Asher and Zaley, Max and Meadow and Cash and Willow and me. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. All right, great job, guys. Let's sit down, show me your hands. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Give a little clap. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Lay them in your lap. All right, we're ready, very good. Who remembers the name of our month? Starts with the letter A, the very first letter in the alphabet. What is it? April, <laughs> very good. Can we spell that word together? There it is. A. B R I L April. All right. What about this word? What is this one? The name of what? It's the name of our season where flowers start growing and grass turns green. It starts with this letter, which is an S. Spring. Correct. S P R I and G. Spring. Very good. Guys are good. All right. We better get our calendar, right? It's over here. <coughs> okay. So today is Wednesday, April 26th. So we got to get some bunnies on here on these numbers. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. Okay, so you guys be patient for just a minute while I get the glue on. And then we're going to get our, how many bunnies? How many days in a week? Seven. That's right. Here we go. 20, 21. Oh, that buddy was falling off there. <laughs> 22, 23, 24, 25, one more, oop, there come little bunny, 26, wow, there's not very many days left in our month, is there? Mm -mm. So spring is the time of year when you'll start seeing butterflies. But do you know what a butterfly is before it becomes a butterfly? A caterpillar, that's right. And before it's a caterpillar, it's a tiny little egg on a leaf. And when a caterpillar hatches, it is hungry. And it eats and eats and eats all the leaves that I can find, all right? And he'll do this for between two and five weeks, and then he'll just know that it's time to become a butterfly. He needs to change, his body needs to change. And so he'll make a hard protective shell around himself, and that's called a chrysalis, all right? And he'll be safe in there, and then his body will change into a butterfly. And that whole process is called metamorphosis. That's a big word, isn't it? You think you can say that? Metamorphosis, that's right. Now, I wrote a little song about a caterpillar. Uh, and he's a yellow caterpillar. And it's actually sung to the tune 
of the Yellow Rose of Texas. Some of you adults might remember that song. It's kind of an old one. It goes like this. There is a yellow caterpillar crawling in the tree. He's eating all the leaves as far as he can see. Then he'll spin a little chrysalis to keep him safe and dry. And when he wakes up again, he'll be a butterfly. All right, <clears throat> can we sing that together? There is a yellow caterpillar crawling in the tree. He's eating all the leaves as far as he can see. And he'll spin a little chrysalis to keep him safe and dry. And when he wakes up again, he'll be a butterfly. <laughs> all right. Uh, of course, I have books about caterpillars today. I have 10 Little Caterpillars by Bill Martin Jr. And it's done in rhyme, and it's about 10 caterpillars, all right? It has very colorful illustrations by Lois Ellert. And I especially like, in the back of the book, it shows what the caterpillar lo looks like. It tells you what caterpillar it is. And then it also shows you what it's going to look like when it changes, when it metamorphosizes into a butterfly. It even tells you uh, what kind of leaves it likes to eat. All right. And I also have, let me just put that back there, 10 Wriggly Wiggly Caterpillars by Debbie Tarbett. And it is a counting and rhyming book. And it's actually a little touchy-feely. It's a board book, but right there, you can see the caterpillars. You can touch them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> All right. And of course, I have the classic. We couldn't talk about caterpillars without the very hungry caterpillar by Eric Carle. I bet you could guess what that's about, right? <laughs> all right, I'll take all those books back to the library, and they'll be ready for you to borrow. Okay, let's see. So for our project today, I thought we would make our own hungry caterpillar. And you're going to need a piece of white paper, construction paper. And then you're also going to need green paper, red paper, <laughs> yellow paper, and black paper. Now, we're going to make our caterpillar out of circles, shapes, circles, okay? And depending on how many you need, well, it depends on how big you want your caterpillar to be. Now, I made my circles this big, and I used seven. I needed six green ones, six all the same green, but then the head is going to be red. So that's your seventh circle, all right? So have an adult help you draw and cut them out of the paper. Then you want to glue all your circles on the white paper, but don't glue them right next to each other like that. Glue them so they overlap some, you know, like maybe about halfway. Right? And also what you can do instead of putting them straight in a line, is you can make them go up like that a little bit and maybe down. All right. You can do it any way you want, really. Now, our caterpillar also needs what? He needs legs, <laughs> and he needs antenna, and he needs eyes and a nose. All right. So um, I made the antenna and the legs out of the black paper. I will show you. All right, so there's his two antenna and his legs. You can make as many legs as you want. Uh, I made, let's see, one, two, three, four, six legs. <laughs> and then glue those on in the appropriate places. And for his eyes and his nose, uh, I made two yellow ovals or circles. You could make either shape. And then three smaller circles out of green. And then glue the yellow on first and the green on top of that. And then there's the green for his nose. Now, if you'd like to, you can also make a branch and some leaves for our hungry caterpillar to eat. And I made mine using markers. I just drew brown for the tree limb and green for the leaves. If you want to get really fancy, you could also cut the shapes out of brown construction paper and green construction paper and glue them on, whatever you want to do. But either way, there we have our own hungry 
caterpillar. <laughs> okay, that is all I have for today, guys. Uh, take care. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Happy National Library Week! Come on in! <laughs>